today I will talk about the main difference between NF1 and NF2. While both are genetic disorders of the nervous system, NF1 is more common than NF2. If NF1 happens in one and three thousand births, and NF2 uh, happened approximately one in forty-four thousand births. And here are the main characteristics of NF1, neurofibromatosis type 1. Uh, you have cathode spots, which is little brown spots on the skin. Scoliosis and neurofibro which are tumors, soft, tu soft tissue tumors. Scoliosis, the curvature of the spine. 75% of people with NF1 have learning disabilities. Most people are able to live a productive life and their NF1 will not interfere with that. But I have a moderate to severe case. So it will, it interferes with my day-to-day -day activities and making it impossible for me to um, hold a job because of nerve pain. And also with NF1, you can have tumors on the optic nerve. Is the nerve of which connect the eye to the brain. NF2 have bi bilateral acoustic tumors and cranial and spinal tumors with facial dis with facial dis disformities, poor balance and it interferes with your um, ability to walk straight coordination. Um, NF2 chromosome 22 is affected with the pro protein being merlin, and their tumors are called spinomas. And if NF1 is chromosome 17, and the name, main tumor of those are neurofibro, um, and hearing loss is common and NF2 with, well, um, hearing loss is common with NF2 will, it will show signs by the mid-20s and um, typically onset is around teenage years, that's when they notice they have it.